Alright, hey guys, um, welcome to my new tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to make it look like there's uh, text on a wall. Okay, um, so kind of like this effect here in Infusion 2, and again, there. there. As you can see, it um, looks like there was text there, kind of thing, but you know, not really. But I've had a few people ask me how to do it, so I'll make a tutorial. Um, just before we start, I'm just going to say it won't look as good as that, um, as these do, because I'll be rushing this tutorial to make it a bit faster, save less space, and upload, and all that. So yeah, to the tutorial. Open up After Effects, because that's what we're going to be using. We're not going to be using Vegas, like normal. But you can do this in Vegas, it's just a lot more accurate and better looking in After Effects. So what you want to do now is import the clip that you want. I'll just use one of my Infusion 2 openings. And just a little tip, if you want the composition the exact size of exact, exact like time and frame size as your video, just hold that, drag it, and go down to this composition bar here. And that makes it exact. Now, we want the text there, like it's like we saw in Infusion 2. <coughs> there. Right now, what we want to do is get the text tool, click and type a message. Now, um, want to drag that out a bit and make it a 3D layer. Now, get the rotation tool and bring that around. Now, as you can see, it kind of already looks like it's on the map, but not really, because we don't have any shadows or anything that makes it look 3D-ish. So what we want to do is duplicate the layer by pressing Ctrl D or edit duplicate. Now, um, now we want to change these again. So just um, bring the X rotation down which makes it look like a shadow and maybe if you want you can stretch it out a bit so it's not exact. That way it looks like it's an actual shadow. And um, as you can see it doesn't look like a shadow because it's exactly the same as the original so what you want to do is make it black and add a slight bit of blur so go to your effects and presets tab over here and type fill now grab that and drag it onto your bottom layer but we don't want it red we want it black because shadows aren't normally red unless you're colorblind um, now yeah onto the blur. So we go select that, go effect, blur and sharpen, box blur. Now we put up the blur radius just a little bit. We don't want it too fuzzy and everything. We want to want to be able to still read the words. So maybe two. Okay, maybe maybe a bit more. Yeah, there we go. Um, four seems alright. 3.5. Yeah. Now that looks a bit more like a shadow. I told you it wouldn't look as good as the original, but you know, I'm trying. I'm trying to make it click. Um, that's pretty much it. As you can see, if you scroll through here, it doesn't move. Um, if you've got a moving footage, um, it becomes a lot harder to do this. You'd have to track your motion first and then edit that and make it move the same as your background. Um, not exactly sure how to do that, but I can easily find out if anyone wants a tutorial on that. If you have like a moving, like not moving sideways or really fast or anything, just um slightly shaky footage, not not camera spinning and stuff like that. I can't do that yet. Well, I can, but I need a bunch of other programs, and I just can't be bothered. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it for the tutorial. Then you render that out and chuck it in Vegas and finish editing your movie. So, um, tell me if you liked me this voice tutorial. I haven't done a voice tutorial in quite a while because all three of my mics are broken, so I'm sitting here with my video camera sitting next to my head filming me talking while using a screen recorder. It's a bit awkward, but anyway, um, just definitely check out my channel. And I've got a bunch of other tutorials. I've set up playlists to make everything easier got all my CS videos, intros, free stuff, tutorial, shuffling, other stuff, and other gaming movies, and all that, so go on to my tutorials, 
and I've got quite a few now, so there should be a couple that help you out. Yeah, so hope you like that. Click my yellow button. Not sound that sounded a bit weird, but anyway. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.